You might remember the Hummer as a massive, military-inspired, gas-guzzling, expensive SUV. But GM wants to change your mind about that. Well, at least one of those points, because this one's electric. It's still pretty expensive, and it still has quite the presence. So unlike the Hummers of the past, this one is actually a GMC product, but you really wouldn't know that from looking at it. There's only two GMC badges on the whole truck. One is right here, really small, and then the other one is in the back. In length, it sits just under the Tahoe and right over the new Ford Bronco and the Jeep Wrangler, but it still has quite the off-road presence. It's sitting on these massive 35-inch tires that come standard across the board. It has an air suspension that can raise the truck six inches or lower it two inches. It has this spare tire on the back, just like a Wrangler or a Bronco, and it seats five. So behind this huge gear selector is a little drive mode knob. So on here, you'll be able to switch through the drive modes. On the left side, if you hold this, you go into crab walk, which uses the rear steering to move the truck sideways when you're off-road to maneuver. Then there's toggles for the air suspension to lift it up or down. And then the button on the right, GMC didn't tell us what it does. They said it's just an Easter egg and we'll have to find out later. So on the GMC Hummer EV SUV and pickup, you can actually take off the roof panels. Think Jeep Wrangler or even the new Ford Bronco. It's pretty easy, just like the Jeep or the Bronco. There's these two latches here that you'll undo just to pop off There's this roof panel. And then there's a T-bar here with a couple bolts that you'll need to undo. There's a tool kit included. And then there's three other roof panels that you'll need to take off as well. To give you a perspective about how big this thing is, looking at me really won't do it justice because I'm six foot seven. I can still look over it. It's still huge. It's got a really commanding presence. We've got these wide fender flares, 35 inch tires. We've got these rock rails on the side. And it just looks huge, just like the old one. So when you approach the truck, there's a welcome sequence on the headlights. And then when you walk away, there's a closing sequence. Another weird thing about the Hummer EV is that it has three windshield wipers. And just in case you didn't know where this EV truck came from, there's an American flag on the C-pillar. So when you're charging the truck, it actually has this charging sequence on the headlights, it does it on the taillights too, and it moves up to show you your state of charge, just like if you're plugging in your mobile phone and you wanna see how much battery you have. There's these cool moon patterns all over the interior, including inside the trunk and on the speaker covers. It's meant to represent the Sea of Tranquility, the landing site for Apollo 11, because GM says it was inspired by the moon landing. GMC's Hummer EV is leading General Motors' electric push but you won't be able to buy this SUV until early 2023 as an edition one model that starts at around $105,000. Cheaper models that start at around $80,000 won't be on sale until spring of 2024, but we cannot wait to get our hands on one of these so we can try Watts to Freedom for ourselves.